welcome to Pub Friday. It's that time again, end of the week, where we release all our inhibitions and get down on it, yeah? Who's going to join me tonight? Da, da, da. Let's have a look. Ooh, we're ever so bright and sort of hazy in here, aren't we? All that sun coming in, which is lovely. Hello, good evening and welcome. <laughs> Who's on with me tonight? Jill? Is it you? Is it Jill? Let's have a look. It's the end of the week feeling. Yay, Jill! And I was going to do it on Zoom, wasn't I? But didn't get it. Karen, we're on it. Mm. Good. Okay. Pub Friday. Yeah, the end of the week. We've done it again, another one, and it's time to release all our inhibitions. <laughs> so, shall we get going? I'm going to go back to here and do them all that again. So, welcome to Pump Friday. Here we go. What do you need for this session? We need, I'm using 4.5 dumbbell weights. They're the heavy ones. And then I've got some smaller ones that we'll be using on the shoulder track. We are switching it up today. We're going to do, instead of biceps, we're going to do shoulders. So if you want to come with me, somewhere around that, you'll need it. We've also got a mat for lying down when we go into our chest with flies and everything else. So shall we get started in your warm-up position? So it's a strong set position. Shoulders round back, knees soft, and we will get started with those weights. So, there we are. Let us go. Okay, feet shoulder width. Are you ready? Big shoulder roll. Go 
weights in the back leg. You got it. One more, change, quick, and go. Squeeze your bum to push up. Don't rely on the front leg. Woo. And step together. Oh, turn biceps. Slowly and lower. Oh, no. 
Yeah. 
uh, triceps out because we're going on to the shoulders next. We're missing biceps today and going on the short on the triceps. So pretty much triceps are also working in shoulder work. So this is kind of being a double whammy on you here now. So we start with what? Eight press ups. Then we come to our knees. So you may want to use your smaller weights. So eight press ups, full or half, you choose. Then we're coming onto our knees for out and lift and lower, lift and lower, okay? And then we're going to go into a standing position, front raise, and then more side raises till we complete with some of those to finish in some sort of order. <sighs> okay, so into your press up position, let's make it dynamic. We have two tracks left. This is where we want to give it our all. Don't hold anything in reserve. This is Friday night. We're going to show how hard we worked all week because this is progression. Let's do it.
those shoulders out. Breathe. So we're going to keep our weights, small ones and the big ones. Actually, small ones, and then we can do the pullover with holding two together instead of just switching over. So let me demonstrate what we're going to into with this. Should it feel uncomfortable on your neck, then do it without weights. But if you want to work that a little bit harder, you might want to have the weights in your hand. So where are we going with this? We're going to include some reverse curls. And we're going to hold elbows down on the mat. You're going to punch over, punch over. There we go with those. Then we're going to place them both here. Make sure they're secure. Lift the legs up, reach over. All the way there, all the way back. Control the leg down. We then take a little bit of a rest with the hands down. Lift, slowly lower the legs in your reverse curls. And then, second round, we're here and we reach up to the outside for one more round of each. So let's get on it and then we'll just flow into our stretch. And let's work it, guys. Come on. This one's called I'm a very lucky girl. And we're very lucky girls. Don't know whether we've got Andrew watching. I don't think he is. So let's go. But anyway, we're all 